Hello? Oh, hey, Jenny. How's it going? Oh, I'm doing okay. I'm getting ready to go into the dentist. It's about my least favorite thing to do all year. Yeah, I know. It does have to be done. Yeah. Sometimes I think hygienists are sadists, though. I think they really like inflicting torture on their patients, but I guess I gotta go in, so... Yeah, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Okay, bye. Oh my gosh, I wish my patient would hurry up and show up. She's like 10 minutes late. Really? Yeah. Well, I think I saw her car out there about 20 minutes ago. Really? Yeah, look, it's right there. I wish she would come inside. I've got four quadrants of scaling to do, and I don't know how I'm going to finish it all if I'm yeah. running late. I know. She's usually kind of like that, and when I call her, you know, she's kind of rude. I think she doesn't really want to come, but I'm oh, great. I wish she just wouldn't schedule so we could fill it with somebody else instead of wasting all this time. And well, if she doesn't come in, we should maybe start charging her for these no-shows. Well, I think we should. This is like the third time. That's not, not okay. Oh, but wait, look. There she is. Um, oh, she's going to get ready. Okay. taking the Xanax for anxiety okay. and I'm still taking um, the Zoloft for depression and just a bunch of different vitamins and stuff like that. Okay. Um, and it looks like you haven't been in in a while. When was your last appointment? Um, I don't know. I think um, I had a few that I didn't, that I had to reschedule. Um, it may have been a few years. Okay. Um, and in the past have they ever had to use anesthetic when doing a cleaning? For, for a tooth cleaning? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, well we, we don't have to um, start out with it. We can see how things go and if we need it oh. then, then we can always use it. Okay. Um, what about nitrous? you ever used laughing gas? Mm, no, I don't know. Would you have to put a mask over my face? Yeah, yeah it just kind of goes over your nose. Yeah, no, I'm kind of claustrophobic, so I don't think I would like that. Okay, okay. Um, let me just grab a couple of things and then we can get started. Okay. okay. You ready to get started? Sharpen these up a little bit first, and then we will. Wow, seriously? Michelle? Yes? She fainted. Oh no, wait, I'll put you right in. Go oh, back. Can you put something under her legs? Yeah, I got it. Sarah? Sarah, are you okay? Oh yeah, what happened? You fainted. Also known as vasodepressive syncope. Are you feeling okay? No, my stomach really hurts. I feel really weak. Why don't we sit you up here and get you some oxygen, just let you sit for a while. Okay. I also want to take your vitals. Here's this, Sarah. Can I get you any water or juice for your upset stomach? Um, some juice, thanks. Okay. So has that ever happened before? 
So what could we have done differently to avoid this medical emergency? Well, to start with, you could have not dismissed my fears. Probably True. would have been good. <laughs> um, we could have also um, not jumped to conclusions and taken into account that she had three no-shows and was late to her appointment, possibly indicating uh, dental anxiety, um, as well as her body language. Yeah. You could have taken my vitals. So you would have seen that I would have had elevated heart rate and blood pressure. That probably would have been a good idea. In addition, maybe not sharpening the instruments in front of me, since I was feeling a little anxious, that's kind of what set me over the edge, so maybe keeping sharp objects out of, out of view if you can would have yeah. been good for me. I think those are important. Um, I also um, should have noticed when you mentioned that you weren't interested in using any kind of local anesthetic, that maybe you had a fear there. Um, you also turned down the nitrous oxide because you were uh, had a fear of claustrophobia, another indication that maybe you had anxiety. Mm -hmm. um, also important were the medications you take, um, Xanax and um, Zoloft, both indications that um, you have anxiety and maybe you don't deal with stress mm -hmm. well. Yeah, and um, up front we could have had a questionnaire addressing um, dental anxiety, um, asking more thorough questions. Uh, we could have talk to her more about her fears and um, you know we could have also used distractions to help her anxiety level go down. Yeah. Dental emergencies can happen anywhere, anytime. So it's important to um, know what to do.